the next one is statistical language modeling so what it does is we'll be give, uh, building some statistical uh, language model based on the mm -hmm. language and the words we are getting from the sentences we will be assigning probability to the entire sequence so you will be uh, you said right uh, uh, you want to guess what are the what is the next word mm -hmm. so uh, based on the previous uh, context each word will be having some probability so if you give the past words like this means based on the training data it will actually guess what is the next word which has the highest probability so mm -hmm. that will automatically uh, be a next word so mm -hmm. if you used google uh, google assistant yeah. if you yeah. use a voice to search it will automatically uh, guess the word based on the previous uh, context mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so for that uh, we'll be using uh, statistical language modeling but we won't be using that much uh, in the actual practical stuff so it'll just yeah. a theoretical uh, concept how it actually works behind and the next one is bag of words yeah for this let's take an example so um yeah if you consider this as a whole word mm -hmm. you'll um bag of words is uh, it's like a feature extraction technique so what it actually does is it will uh, create a max matrix like structure so i am just yeah. uh, using dictionary for understanding purpose so he is occurring one time mm -hmm. is is occurring also one time good mm -hmm. is occurring two times so is it like word frequency yeah mm -hmm. so it will just assign the word frequency so Uh, if you consider a model means you will be having a vocabulary a vocabulary means uh, all the training data with the unique words let's say we have like mm -hmm. uh, 500 words and uh, you will be having dictionary for all the words so if you give a sentence for this feature extraction so it will just uh, assign these words uh, as one to based on the number of words in the sentence so this one two for the related words will be considered as a feature so if you can see good is occurring two times if you mm -hmm. consider uh, a model for uh, sentiment analysis means obviously mm -hmm. this will be a positive sentiment let's say so, you sorry, have can you repeat the last thing it will be yeah a uh, good is a positive word right yes so if you go for sentiment analysis uh, problem means it will automatically assign it as a positive sentiment let's say mm -hmm. you have mm -hmm. only one good and two bad in a overall mm -hmm. sentence means so based mm -hmm. on this it will just assign it as a negative one yes understood so this is one of a uh, feature extraction technique and mm -hmm. uh, the next one is n grams so uh and you probably are getting to this but if i understand correctly what's happening here is that these modules are just combined is that correct you take one thing from the you take what you use bag of words and then you with the result of bag of words this is put into something else uh yeah sometimes uh, we also do that it all mm. uh, all based on the scenarios only okay so it'll be uh, combining multiple feature extraction technique and combine all the features into a single vector and mm -hmm. you can just directly put it into a model into a single what a uh, single input yeah yeah so the next one is uh, n grams this is also uh, another uh, feature extraction technique uh, or mm -hmm. also we can say as a, as another representation for n grams it is also like another representation let's consider this words so sentence for example so if you consider n gram as 2 this is like a parameter you in even in bag of words you will be having n grams that is like a hyper parameter 
Okay, what does that mean? So if you specify n grams as two means, it will consider two words as a feature. So it will be go like this. He is, is a. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. So like this, it will go, mm -hmm. um, but it also has a drawback. And when you say uh, uh, consider it as a feature, it, yeah. it really means just the, the the feature is the word, right? The feature is whatever data you want to take out. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Uh, we are get, yeah. just uh, actually getting some uh, different uh, way of uh, interpretation. Mm. So usually okay. we are just uh, getting individual words. So sometimes individual words has uh, different meanings. If you combine with uh, some other words means we'll be having uh, some other meaning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I understand. Excellent. Yeah, that is the purpose. But what is the disadvantage is if you use n grams means the training amount will increase based on the numbers. So if you increase the n gram size means the training size, the training time will be increased. Uh, it will be increased based on more words. Yeah. Is that because, uh, yeah, I'm actually not sure why. Could you explain why? Yeah, I will explain. So, yeah, you are uh, creating more number of uh, features, right? He is, mm -hmm. is at, uh, like that, it will uh, it will get so many data because of this, because we are repeating so many informations like this. Mm -hmm. If you just- Okay, say, and, and just a quick question here on the, so it takes, it actually, uh, the he is, and then the he is, is uh, so it, it, it uh, the, uh, the last one lags every time, is that correct? Uh, which one? The last word is the, the last word on the one sentence is the first word on the second sentence. Is that always the pattern with n-grams when you're yeah. doing it minus two? Yes, it will like uh, a continuous two three? words. It's nothing what but a continuous uh, two words or uh, three words. So if it was three words, how would that look like? So he is, uh, is a yeah, good and a okay, good actor. Okay, okay, then I understand, okay. So yeah. if you increase the size means it will actually uh, get more, so many features. That's why the mm. model training time will actually. Uh, yeah, then it makes total sense. So the maximum you can go up to is uh, one, two, three. That is enough mm -hmm. most of the time. If you go mm -hmm. more than that means uh, it won't actually improve the model. Sure, okay. And, and in which use cases do you use this? Um, I already mentioned, right? So this has a different meaning. Mm -hmm. In order to uh, capture different meaning for machine learning, if you go for deep learning, that is a different uh, scenario. It will uh, consider the whole sentence as a uh, input, but we are uh, just considering individual words for, as input. Mm. So that's why if you increase the number of words means it's actually capturing the whole information. Mm -hmm. So that is the advantage of uh, n-grams. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and apart from that, uh, we have bag of words. This is also a feature extraction technique. Yeah. So this heard, feature extraction uh... technique or uh, these are for machine learning, uh, this bag of words. And another one is also there. TF, IDF. Mm -hmm. So this full form is term fre frequency inverse document frequency. So you don't need to go in detail. Uh, it, it will be having some formula based on the particular word and uh, how many times that is occurring in the word. It will just calculate a value. Based on that value, we'll be having some uh, features. Mm -hmm. So similar to this uh, bag of words, we'll be having some, he's uh, 1.5, is is two, like that uh, we'll be having some number based on the whole uh, corpus. If you consider a whole document as input, based on the document, it will uh, create that uh, feature. Uh, so the term can be the entire document? Yes, uh, term. document yeah. can be considered as the whole training data. 
Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, yes. So these two are the commonly used uh, feature extraction technique uh, for uh, machine learning. Mm -hmm. So for deep learning purposes, uh, we can able to go for a word to wake, or you can also use a word to wake for machine learning also. Anyway, okay. the input structure will be in terms of numbers. So you can uh, use anything you want. Mm -hmm. 